Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to review the traffic analyzer feature and see what's changed since my last video that's probably uh, over a year old now. So in 2025 I want to see what features have been added and then also just go through and refresh us on what actual features it actually shows. So this is the uh, web interface as you can see here and if you see my previous videos where um, I did a, a basically a comparison between the app and the uh, web interface as you see here is that if you do want more advanced features then it is uh, and you're more advanced user then it is best still to use the web interface. The app has the core and a lot of the main features as well to set things up and quite nice to have the notifications when new devices and firmware um, are actually coming to your network and then your router. So uh, it's nice still to have as a companion app, but I think I still prefer to use uh, as a more advanced user and also to get the most out of the money uh, that you pay for these uh, quite expensive and feature rich Asus routers while we buy in the first place, it's still best to use the web interface. So as you see, as we normally log into your router, and then you've got, you know, you normally load it, uh, load up uh, straight away on your dashboard. If you go to traffic analyzer, and then you can see here, you've got the four main tabs. You've got your statistic, your bandwidth monitor, traffic monitor, and web history. You'll see here where by default, all of these are switched off. Again, this is uses CPU and RAM as well. So uh, these are quite intensive because they're always monitoring and logging uh, traffic and um, your web history and your bandwidth monitor as well. So it's just to be wary that if you do have a see any slowdowns, then perhaps uh, it might be with this that's causing it. But to be honest with the amount of quad core CPUs we see now in these uh, routers and the amount of RAM and things like that, they're like mini computers. So it'll easily be able to handle it. So even if you start seeing a spike in CPU usage or in RAM usage, um, don't be too worried about it. It's not gonna hamper anything too much. It's only if you're very, if you're probably perhaps using this with, you know, over 200 devices or something, then it will start to perhaps struggle. But for most people, even advanced users, this will easily be able to handle, especially the, the Wi-Fi 6E routers and up and things like that, especially the public for gamers that have more gaming features and then also uh, more RAM and, and a, like a higher performance quad core CPUs in there. Um, it should have no problems at all using this feature. So as we can see here, as I said, all, all of these are actually by default switched on. So what I can do is just switch on the little toggle here. It will give you a basically a license agreement, but also a disclosure about your personal data and collection. So I know we've had discussions around this before. So your information and things like this and this a traffic analyzer does send some of your information to Trend Micro. Uh, basically, uh, that, that's the, the third party company. But it says there, please note your information will not be collected uh, by Trend Micro through AI protection, parental controls, traffic analyzer, app analyzer. So these ones, is, it won't actually filter through. Trend Micro are only for most of the time it will basically just be analyzing, going to their cloud server and everything else. But you must agree to their privacy policy and also around the personal data collection disclosure. So again, just be aware if you are someone that doesn't want your information out there, then uh, you'll probably want to disagree with this. Um, but you can agree and then switch it off later. As it says here, you can disable it by going to into the web interface, advanced settings, administration and privacy, and, and basically switching this feature off. But if you do want to use it, you have to switch it on and agree. Uh, if you're anything like me, I think my data has probably been in data breaches um, here, there and everywhere, it seems like. Um, so I think they've probably got everything about me that they want anyway. Uh, so it's all out there. So again, I'm trusting Asus and their third party that they won't hopefully sell with this information on and things like that. But again, just be wary. And if you do want to click through to these links and it will load up these separate policies for it. So if I click on agree, this will basically restart the uh, router. Um, so it should apply these settings. So just be wary, sometimes it might disconnect your Wi-Fi devices. So just be, you know, if you're if you're doing down doing a download or someone in the family is playing a get important game or something, just be wary it might interrupt something they're doing there. So best to do this when uh, your children are doing anything important or you're not doing or in your partner or anyone like that in the household. 
So now it's switched on. You can see here you'll start getting an interface. So it won't see it straight away. Um, but of course, I don't have any devices connected except for my mobile phone. Um, basically, so you won't, you won't, I won't see much on the graph, but you'll start to see the information as it comes through and it will have a nice pie chart and then also start listing the top five clients down here. And when you can click on them, it'll give you all their information and the top five apps as well that that's, that device is using. You'll be able to select all clients. So all the clients that are connected to your router or just some. Um, and then also you'll be able to see the last date as well. So you can define it here. You can go into apps. So again, this will define and change the, the app, basically the pie chart and everything else to the apps that are currently being used as it sees it. But it normally uses profiles for these, so it's not 100% accurate all the time. You can then filter by uh, both the so upload and download, or you can just do by download and upload. Uh, you can do it by daily, weekly and monthly. So that's quite nice to see. And then auto. So you can see it by megabytes, gigabytes or terabytes. And then also here you have the waste bin where you click on it. And as it says here, basically it'll clean the whole log and everything else. So if you want to start afresh and everything else, it will delete all the previous history and everything for you. But again, it's nice to have it. So I quite like having the statistic and then the bandwidth monitor and the traffic monitor. Web history, I don't normally use. To, I don't switch that on. But again, it might be a feature that is there and you might find useful. So again, you can see here straight away, you'll see on the graph and everything else, it'll start showing you the statistics here of percentage of your daily traffic for upload and download. You've got your bandwidth monitor. So this is like for your quality of service as well. So you can do a filter on the speeds. Again, it's off by default to switch it on. It's very, again, straightforward as you just toggle this on. And you can see here it loads pretty quickly just to switch on the feature. Again, as I said, as you switch these on, uh, you can go into your network map and then go to your status and you'll be able to look at your core, your RAM and everything else. And you'll see you probably the used RAM will start to go up um, and your free RAM will start to go down. Um, of course, because you're using more services, again, with like with VPN, your gaming features and everything else and AI protection, that all uses CPU. But again, we have two gigs of RAM, quad core CPU. Um, so it's more than enough, to be honest, to, to handle most of these, base, these features that are built in. But again, if you do have any issues when switching these on and you're a high end user with lots and lots of hundreds of devices, then perhaps you won't want this on and you'll prioritize having your VPN and gaming features on instead. So if we go back to the bandwidth monitors, as we said, we switched on now. So this will start showing you the devices that are connected down here. And then you'll be able to see what their basically what their bandwidth is, is going upload and download speeds. And it'll give you a nice graph on here as well. So you can see it by 100, 10, and uh, uh, 10 gigabits and one gigabits and then auto as well. So you can see your download bandwidth and upload as well. So that's a quite a good little one to have as well. And as I said, I normally have the statistic bandwidth monitor and then moving on to the traffic monitor where you don't need this one basically will start logging everything as soon as you start switching the others on um, and also but you will need to have quality of service switched on as well and as we said it depending on what router you have you can go into your game acceleration feature if you have an ROG router and enabling it once you've enabled the QO uh, quality of service menu as you can see in here again we can go back to the traffic analyzer and then we can go back to the traffic monitor and you'll start seeing the details of all the actual connected devices and everything else and the average and maximum. Again, it's good just for network so you can see what devices are using um, and then you can go down, you can have a breakdown by your wireless bands as well and then by wired devices. So that's quite good to see as well. It's good is for troubleshooting so you can see what devices are using a lot of bandwidth for all of these different options here. Um, and then lastly, if you come on to here to web history, you can switch this on. And again, this toggles this on. This will take a bit of a while to, again, I don't personally use this feature. I don't want to uh, record the web history of all the clients and everything else because you normally have this built into the web browsers. But again, for security, if you want to monitor the web history, um, then again, you can use this to actually, uh, to basically record all that as well within the router. 
again just be wary that it uses up again cpu and memory usage as well and this one will be quite heavy because it's always quite logging everything especially you have lots of devices again as, as you can see here you can actually export as well so you can click the export and it will, uh, you can download it basically to your uh, computer um, and again then you can filter by all clients so as we said if we go back to the statistic one what is quite good is that as probably an example um, you can go along here when you click on there you'll when you have multiple uh, clients connected you'll see all your devices but also say if you have a, a smart plug like I did uh, a few years ago it was a smart power strip I got cheap um, and for some reason it was sending one gig of data every month um, out to the internet or even more every week um, so again that sounds very suspicious to me of course you can't get into the firmware and it doesn't have any firmware updates so it identified to me for using this straight away that there was something wrong with the device because a, a smart plug should not be using that much of data um, and perhaps it's compromised and of course it's, it could have been compromised afterwards or at the factory because it was a cheap uh, kind of power plug so I could see that straight away here so again this using this and switching these on you can identify those and use it uh, as these features for your own security as well and just for your own peace of mind so be, this has just been a quick overview of all of these uh, four tabs within the actual traffic analyzer as I said it's good to have these switched on um, I think it's probably not so much the web history but again it's up to you on how you use your network um, and they are off by default so you need to come in and switch these on and you do have some of these features within the app but I prefer to actually use the web interface here as I said it gives you more details and more filters and you can also export some of the information as well thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful and uh, catch me in the next video